Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, we're going to be taking you on a tutorial today of creating a beat in Cubase. Um, so I've opened up a blank project. I've actually inserted a version of Native Instruments battery. So F11, BST Instruments, I've selected battery and I've preloaded a kit in there. So if we have a listen. There you go. I've also put my left and right locator to a four bar loop. I've set the quantize to quarter notes. I've turned on auto quantize. What this does is if I play slightly out of time, this will uh, put the note to the nearest uh, quantize value, which is quarter notes in this case. Um, I'm gonna turn the click on and let's record our kick. So there you go, turn the click off. As you can hear there, the kick is perfectly in time thanks to the auto cue function. What we've got here is after touch. So if I select this box here, that shows me the velocity of each individual kick drum, which we'll put to 127. And any additional information, obviously my keyboard transmits after touch. Um, so there it is. We actually don't want that. So a bit of housekeeping. Let's clean all that away. And also let's quantize our note length. So I've selected them all by just dragging the mouse. I've gone to MIDI. I'm going to advanced quantize and quantize lengths. And what that's done there is made each kick drum a full quarter note. So if we play that back, everything's nice and clean. All our kicks are all at the same level. They're all at the same length. Let's now record a snare on top of that. So find my snare on my keyboard. There we go. So there you go, there's the snare part. Again, you can see after touch has been recorded. Let's just delete that off there. Let's also select our snares. MIDI, advanced quantize, quantize lengths. And there you go, that's brought them all back in. Uh, I like to keep things neat and tidy. Um, it just keeps it simple. All right, let's record some hi-hats on top of there. So we'll change our quantize value to 16th notes. Find our hi-hats, which are there. And let's have a go at recording these in. And there we go. Uh, the beauty of the auto quantize one there obviously it puts it puts things nice and neat let's actually delete those that was my fault there for not rewinding it back to the beginning and I'll copy all laws to the beginning interesting pattern maybe what I want may not be um, let's just leave it as is for now. I'm going to select them all again audio Sorry MIDI advanced quantize quantize lengths. It's made them all 16th notes In fact, what I would do would be to I'm going to delete that one put that to there Delete all of those. And 
and there you go oh, that's your standard four to the floor pattern within Cubase uh, now as you can see all of our parts are on one individual MIDI track uh, what might be useful would be to select the MIDI part go to MIDI dissolve part and what that does now I'll leave optimized display separate pitches that's fine just click OK and now what it's done it's separated our MIDI and put them all onto individual tracks so this one is there's your snare that's your open hat closed hat and that'll be your kick and there you go uh, the beauty of that now obviously they're all separate so we could actually oh, go in and start manip manipulating each one so put an extra kick there let's have a 